All right, how's everybody doing today? This is New Air Gardener, and uh, I'm gonna ask one thing of everybody that watches the video. If you like the video, um, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Um, this particular episode, I'll call it episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about this particular bin. Um, I need a little help on this particular bin, so. This is one of my bins that uh, I had that was supposed to be harvested around um, December. Um, it was a slow bin going. There was still quite a bit of paper in it. Um, so I didn't harvest it. So here we are just about two months later. Um, and I happen to notice a problem in this particular bin and, and maybe someone who might have had this problem or might know what's going on um, because I'm a little baffled by it so um, everything is a learning process when you're doing the worms and anything in life it's it's learning and you kind of see what's going on I don't know at all when it comes to to my worms um, but I have noticed something so I'm gonna lift this up and I don't know if you can see it, but I have some worms that are dying off on the top. Um, there's some mold here, and that's from worms that are actually dying um, off. To me, looking at it, the moisture is pretty good, so I don't believe it's the moisture, but I noticed in this particular bin quite a bit of of the worms are actually um dying off so and they're not adult worms they seem to be small worms um they're not uh you know adult worms so i'm, I'm a little little baffled on what what could be causing this so if anybody who's watching this video actually has an idea or went through the same process i know from time to time the worms are going to start to die off but uh, this is kind of ongoing, and I'm just kind of curious on what the problem might be. Um, the bin is ready to be harvested now. Um, it looks good. Um, so because I don't know what the problem is, I don't know if it's the pH. Um, I do have a pH test. I don't know how good that is. Um, but... Uh, the pH is, is, is fine, not an issue there, moisture is good, there's not a bug issue. Um, if I saw a lot of this happening and I had a big mite problem, then I might say that, that it might be mites. But I don't see mites a, a, around or an issue with mites. I do see some flies, fruit flies, um, but other than that I do not see a big issue there. Um, I have been kind of watching it and I actually have been every two days kind of turning it over and kind of just watching the moisture and kind of watching and see what happens. But every time I turn it over, um, if there are some worms in there, I don't take them out that are dying. I don't take them out. It's not going to hurt it. Um, yeah, I do sell my worm castings. Um, but this particular worm castings, I'll save for myself and use it in my garden due to the fact that I, there seems to be a problem going on. And it may, I, I don't know if it's a problem, um, but I do need some help kind of figuring out what might be the problem on this particular bin. So um, if you look at it, if you can see it, I'm going to start to turn it over. You'll see there's lively worms it's in there. Everything looks good. Good moisture, I mean, as you can see, I mean, there are some worms, a lot of worms in here. Um, so they're not all dying off, but it just seems like the smaller worms um, are starting to die off. Um, so it's not a, a highly populated, like the bin that I just uh, um, had looked in the past video. But if you look at this, there are worms in here. The product is ready to be um, harvested. 
There's no smell. I mean, there are, are some small worms there. There's, um, you know, adult worms. So I'm not really concerned about that part of it. They're not dying off, you know, at a high number, you know, where I'm coming every two or three days and I'm looking at it and, uh, you know, I have tons of worms on top dead, you know, so it's not a big, big issue where I would just kind of go through and get all whatever lively worms are here and, and do the bedding over. But, um, I'm just, I'm just kind of wondering what the problem is and why that's happening. Um, there's a little bit of biochar in here, but that biochar is just, you know, what was left over in other bin when I cleaned it out. It is the same alpaca manure. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, there's quite a bit of worms in here, so they're not, they didn't all die off. Um, it's still a very good and habitable bin. Um, but I'm just, I just was wondering what the problem was, and I don't know if anybody um, knows what could be the problem or can suggest what could be the problem, what's going on. Um, so this bin was on heat, so it was getting some heat, but as you can see, there's plenty of moisture there. I don't run my heat mats for a long period of time, so... Uh, I, I, I'm kind of dumbfounded on what is the problem. But if anybody has any suggestions or know what might be the cause of, of uh, the worms dying off like that, um, you know, give me, a, give me a, a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think might be the problem. I am going to harvest this bin um, very soon, probably... This probably particular bin because I don't want to lose more. I want to get them out of this particular bedding. Um, I don't know if it's the bedding or not. So I want to get them out of it and kind of give them a fighting chance. Put them in new bedding and see how they do. See if I have the same problem. So um, I'll wash out the bin, clean out the bin real good, um, disinfect it, and then put new bedding in it. And start completely over. So, um, leave me a comment if you if you've had the same experiment experience with the worms dying off like that. Um, so, I appreciate it. So, this is New Era Gardener. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Appreciate you.